Well, mate, tell us about the phone call. Yeah, I was actually just doing, uh, just pre pre preparing for the Warriors up there. We just about to do a field session. Then uh, Brownie came in, uh, got a call from uh, Freddie or someone from New South Wales, and then I, I went and called Freddie. So yeah, I was super excited. Um, I thought the, the boat had passed after the, the team was announced the other day, so I was focused on the Warriors, but yeah, really excited and just stoked to be here. What, what does Freddie say to you when you finally get onto him, like you were overlooked in the first instant? What, what does he say to you? Oh, I didn't really, I wouldn't say overlooked, I'm not too sure how, how that panned out. I just obviously was just focused on the Warriors this week. Um, you know, that was when my focus was going for the, for the game, and um, yeah, just like I said, caught off guard a bit with it, but super excited and um, yeah, just over the moon. You, but you played. <clears throat> hey, sorry. sorry. I was going to say you played already many times before. But do you feel you're a better place now than previously when you were a bit younger? I knew that question would come up. Um, look, I'm really comfortable in my leadership and the footy I'm playing at Newcastle. I feel like I've done a really good job, especially over the last three months, to get our team in a really good position. And as halfback, I take pride in that. Playing a really good team up there. Um, you know, but this opportunity, this moment's come along, and I'm going to give my best with what I got at the moment. Did you call your mum and dad first? Uh, who did I call first? Should I call my girlfriend first? So mum will be angry about that. <laughs> and I'll call my mum after that. <laughs> what did they say? They must have been so proud. Yeah, they're, they're obviously really happy. Um, you know, this is, you know, when you get a bit older, these sort of teams, um, when you make sides like this, it's, it's yeah, your family's the first thing you think about. So I'm really proud. Mitch, you've been through a lot over the years. Um, you know, how do you keep staying sort of tough and hardened and um, I just love playing footy. Mate, we're living the dream. In um, in four or five years' time, when when footy's finished, um, you know, I'll be thinking about moments like this standing here in front of you. So um, it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like I said, I'm really grateful to be in here, walking in and um, getting the opportunity to play with all the world class players in the team. Um, yeah, I, I'm really excited. Mate, you've been maligned in the court of public opinion over past series. Were you? unfairly maligned in, in that sense? No, it's funny. I actually, I was on Matty John's show the other night and he asked the same question and I um, I, I said at, at times, sometimes I felt like it was um, glorified as it is sometimes after Origin. Other times I, I haven't delivered. Origin's about winning and it'll be about winning next week. If we get the win, I'm sure there'll be a, a nice photo in the paper on Thursday, which will be plenty of positi positivity. If I lose, you know, I'm probably not sure I'll get the blame, but it's part and parcel and... Um, you know, I'm, I've got some unfinished business. And I'm looking forward to hopefully doing my job for the team, and it'd be nice to get that win. That's for sure. Why is this time? Why is this time different, Mitch? You know, they talk about the amount of deciders you've been in before and haven't been able to get it. Why do you think this time is? Oh, every game's different, mate. Every game's different. Um, it's the same at club level. You win one week, you lose the next. Um, like I said, I'm the first one. I put my hand up and said I haven't, haven't, um, haven't delivered completely before, and it does it hasn't sat well with me. And I get another opportunity. Mate, you can't talk. Uh, perhaps playing one side of the field, do you be playing the other side of the field, or do you, you want to be the man like you are the nice? I'm happy to play the style that the, the team wants. Um, I played with Jimmy plenty of times. Uh, Jimmy really ran the show last game, so um, he'd be really confident at leading the boys. Look, I haven't even got to that yet. I'll sit down with Freddie and Jimmy after this, and uh, I'm sure whatever style um, you know, they want me to play, I'll be able to deliver it. Mate, um, Daly Cherry Evans and um, uh, Corey Norman, two outstanding players, but in the past, when you've come up against Queensland, there's been four or five immortals there. What's it going to be like when you look across the field and Jonathan Thurston and Cooper Cronk aren't there? Is it going to be different? You can't take anyone lightly, mate. I was watching, the biggest thing watching the last game, first thought I thought after the game is how hard Queensland are going to come back. They always do. Historically, I think, I was in the paper yesterday or something, they said about um, how better prepared Queensland have been in the past in deciders and they've usually got the results so I'm sure the, the team's been talking about that going into this game and um, you know Corey Norman and Cherry Evans are world class players just like the guys that were there before them and um, yeah these games are always extremely hard. Mitch with, with your career if you can pull this with, win off or help influence the win do you think that could redefine how you're known in origin terms? Um, I'm not too sure You'd, like I said I, I'm sure the storyline will be positive on Thursday if we win and That'll make us all feel good. So, um, you know, there's plenty of guys with plenty of better records at Origin than, than I have, have had, and probably ever will have. But uh, I get an opportunity to to win this this game next week with the team, and that's what I'll be trying to do. Is this the most excited and pumped you've been for an Origin game? 
I haven't had time to think about it. I just got here, but um, <laughs> I'm really excited. That's you know, it was my first thought when someone said, "How did you feel?" I'm really excited. So um, yeah, grateful and excited. Looking forward to it. Um, been playing some some really good footy. Been enjoying my footy in Newcastle. Probably that's the biggest thing. Just, if I could say one thing, I've been enjoying my footy, and I'll make sure I enjoy this week and, and next week's game. How many training sessions are you going to get in? Uh, we'll probably get. I think. We get uh, Thursday, Friday, and then early next week. So, yeah, plenty of work to be done. I don't think the boys are trained too much yet. So, um, yeah, I know a fair few of them. That's that's one thing I was looking forward to. There's a lot of guys that I've played rep footy and, and, and club footy with, and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting the new boys, and I'm sure it'll all gel. And Maloney, you know, you guys want to comp together, and is it like slipping on a pair of old slippers? Is it easy to slot into that combination? Um, well, I... Playing with Jimmy was always enjoyable, and we did have a lot of success. So, um, you know, we I know Jimmy really well. Went to his wedding, and if you get invited to someone's wedding, they must like you. So he might look after me. I think it brings. You know, I heard everyone say that last time. It's kind of refreshing. Um, I just blocked the ears if he's been too much of a punish. <laughs>